Jam Josh from Group Technologies, and these are the Austrian Audio Hi-X headphones. These in particular are the Hi-X 55, which are an over-ear, and they also sell a Hi-X 50, which we recently got in, which is an on-ear. So there are distinct application differences for both, and there are some slight design differences, so let's check them both out. The Hi-X series features a proprietary high excursion driver. This is a 44 millimeter driver. Uh, it's designed for fast transient response. It's designed for critical listening and in combination with the casing is able to deliver accurately 28,000 down to five hertz. Um, so we're talking about a very accurate frequency response, an insane spec for a pair of headphones, and they both, the 55 and 50, both have this spec. There is a little bit of a difference in the tuning, which I'll go into in a moment. <laughs> Both the Hi-X 55 and Hi-X 50 feature a detachable cable system and an all-metal construction for their hinges and bow. So we have metal all along the top here, we have metal on the sides and here on the hinges. And what that actually means is we can twist them, we can really twist them around and we can do this with them, we can really get them moving like this and if this was plastic they would have broken. So they're really good for touring, they're really good for being on the go and they will last. They have a foldable construction and they also have this, uh, on both of them, this slow uh, retention memory foam, which is very comfortable. Austrian Audio have made two Hi-X systems because there are different use cases and one kind of headphone isn't going to match all of them. Uh, both are made for professional applications, so the Hi-X 55 covers the studio, long listening, immersive kind of thing where you have a little bit of noise cancellation thanks to the, the cup design and you've got a lot of immersion um, because of the fact that your ears are inside the cups uh, and you have a completely flat frequency response and you're just there in the mix. That's designed for when you're sitting down, you're listening to music, you're not performing. The Hi-X 50 is more of a performance kind of thing because you can hear the ambience, you can hear the outside world. This is important for things like drum tracking, any kind of tracking really, studio tracking, DJing. So for DJing, this is absolutely what you want. Uh, this is the Hi-X 50 with the smaller side capsule bits you can see here. And just by putting your ear onto this foam pad, you are placing it at the right length between your ear and the driver for the audio to sound good. Uh, with an uh, over-ear headphone, there's a couple more moments of mucking around, getting your ear in there to try to get uh, the right space between your ear and the driver. There's a particular area where it sounds the best. Uh, so with something like this, it's really simple because I know as soon as the pad is touching my ear that the driver and my ear are the right space apart. It's just saving those little extra moments. It's also giving me um, ambient awareness. It's giving me the sound of the room still because it's not covering. So this is not just for DJs. This is very much a thing for live musicians, for live tracks for drummers. Uh, drumming in particular is very important because there might be a very specific mix being sent to the headphones, but you want to hear your bandmates, you want to hear the guitar amps, you might want to hear the audience, you might want to hear other things, uh, and you're not going to be able to if you're wearing over-ear headphones. Both the Hi-X 55 and Hi-X 50 are critical listening headphones, but they have different critical listening applications. So the Hi-X 55 is critical in the sense that you're working on a mix, you're sitting in the studio. The Hi-X 50 is critical for a performance. So the Hi-X 55 has a very flat frequency response, whereas a Hi-X 50 has an increased low end, and that's just to get the, the low end past some of the ambient noise that's coming in. 
Uh, being able to hear the ambient noise and things going on around you is going to drown out some of the detail there, especially considering there's nothing to kind of keep the low end in your ears. There's no cupping there. So they've increased the low end a little bit, and that's going to help you hear the full range of frequencies you need to during a performance. And just finally, a couple of extra things to note about the 50 and the 55. So the Hi-X 50 is better for environmental awareness, it's better for ambient sound coming in in general. So if you run, if you walk to work with music, if that's you, then uh, the 50 is better because you can hear the traffic, you can hear people around you, it's much safer. Uh, the 55, on the other hand, is much better for if you want to have your headphones on for long periods of time. If you need that for mixing or for work or whatever you're doing, that's going to be a lot more comfortable. The 50, the pads on the 50 have to sit on your ears directly and it causes a little bit of pressure. Now they're very comfortable for on-ear headphones, but they're not as comfortable as the Hi-X 55. That's going to give you more comfort with the cups. Both have this really nice bridge here with a little bit of foam that just sits in the right place. They're both comfortable headphones, but the 55 is the winner there. So with both of them and the different use cases, there's something you have to consider which is right for you. Uh, the 55 is definitely flatter frequency response. It's definitely made for the studio, but it's not really designed to be used in a live setting. Whereas the 50 is really live, it lets in the sound, it gives you high quality audio while still doing that, so the choice is yours. <laughs>